Okay, hello. So uh, I'm gonna do my little report about the museum that I visited. So I decided to visit the McCorn Museum in Montreal. Uh, the museum was founded in 1921 by David Ross McCorn. It is a Canadian history museum. And uh, especially when I went, it talked about wearing our history. So yeah, uh, let's talk about the three artifacts that I chose. The first one is a painting by Harry Meyerhovich called Mayo. He was uh, born in 1910 and died at the age of uh, 94, so in 2004. Uh, he graduated at uh, the Faculty of Arts and Architecture of the McGill University. And the painting that he did talked about a guy, Maury Cohen, who moved from Lithuania to here at the age of 14. And he did the same job during 55 years. So yeah, he worked in the garment industry as a high-end manufacturer during 55 years. So he started at 14 and he stopped at 69. I don't even understand how can someone keeps the same job during 55 years and still loving what what he does, you know? Yeah, it really shook me if I can say. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna also talk about uh, another thing. It is a umbilical cord uh, amulet. It was made uh, between 1830 and 1865. It is, uh, it is made of hide, of glass beads, of brass beads also, and cotton thread. Um, it has a special meaning because um, it talks about the link between a child and his mother. And it's also bigger than this. It talks about the culture, the community, and also the family. Um, when it is for a little girl, it is shaped as a turtle. And when they do the amulet for a boy, it is shaped uh, as a lizard or as a snake. Yeah. These amulets were attached to the cradles, you know, in the, in the baby's bed. So uh, it was the first toy that they had and they were playing with the amulet. And um, I knew that uh, spiritism was really important for uh, for Indian, and this was uh, this one was a really good example. I learned a lot of it, and uh, I'll also for this as a last fact. Did you know that some Indian are buried with their amulet? So yeah, um, the fir the third one is a Sefer Torah. A Sefer Torah is a part of the Torah, the Jewish sacred book. Um, that one was in perfect condition. It was 150 years old and yeah, it was really beautiful. It is made um, of kosher calf skin tanned the old-fashioned way. And yeah, it is really beautiful to see. Um, it is written by a rabbi in a synagogue. And um, when the rabbi wants to take a break of writing... And he comes back, he has to, pre he has to pur purify himself by taking a ritual bath before continuing. And uh, also, if uh, someone wants to take uh, the Sefer Torah to his home, it absolutely has to be cut up. If it's not cut up, they cannot, they cannot bring, in, bring it home. It has to stay in the synagogue. So yeah. That's about it for uh, the three artifacts that um, that I saw up there, and um, for the museum, yeah, it was uh, it was interesting. Honestly, it was interesting. I'm not really a guy of museum and of those things, but uh, you know, I learned a lot of, a lot of things about the D and D because there was a, there was a floor out there that talked only about that. Um, there was a second floor also that talked about uh, about like the Second World War and the Jewish uh, in Montreal during that time. So yeah, um, I don't know if I would recommend that museum 
to someone that isn't Canadian and you wouldn't really understand because there were like uh, things that only Canadian and Quebecers understand but uh, yeah to sum up uh, the museum was cool yeah that's about it thanks for your listening and your time